Today is my final finale day of Tokyo. I'm actually very excited to kind of leave out and see something new. Pretty excited about that. The Capsule Hotel was a really interesting experience. Something I never thought I would ever experience, but coming to Asia, I knew I just had to do that right away. And right after I left the entire exploring crew, I knew that it was probably the biggest thing that I probably should do. I'm inside this town called Kakura. So basically, it's just right by the ocean side. It has a whole coastline where you could actually view the water from and everything. It's actually a whole beach. Um, what? But what also this place, this place also has is a lot of shrines, a lot of temples, a lot of parks, and a lot of scenery in which this, the rest of this vlog is going to be most based about. I rented this bike right here. Rented this bike. I rode like uh, through the entire city to get over here. It was like a 20 minute bike ride to come to this place. Look at the entrance to it. This is the entrance to the bamboo temple. They call it Hokokuji Temple. And that's how it looks. So the entrance to this place is what really grabs my interest the most. I mean, you can see all these small steps. These small steps that we're walking up. And then when you walk to the top, there's like this whole sakura tree right at the tippity top of the bamboo. I have to say, coming out to the countryside, the shrines look 10 times better than the ones that do in the city. It's just like, I feel like the ones in the city, it just isn't all that special. The only reason why is because it's like there's so much public people all around there. It's like you don't have a chance to see almost everything you want to see. But when you come out to a place like this, it's more like unique, more different, and more like, like you can kind of relax, more like peaceful. Over there, it's just so crowded. And you can tell the difference when you come out to the countryside versus something that's with it, like that's literally within like the main city which is why doing abandoned places is so much different from doing like a tourist attraction because that is what's the most special now i kind of understand what's really going on so i just went through like this other receptionist area where you had to buy a ticket to enter the place this is where the bamboo garden is and <laughs> I'm ready to walk through this. You can see how the bamboo trees look and how much it's grabbing me in. So I guess you get like a green tea oh card too. God. So I'm going to grab like a green oh tea God. drink in here as well. I also have like the actual like temple like history all right here. Let's wander inside of bamboo gardens. This is pretty insane. Look what I'm stepping into. You're walking through a legitimate bamboo forest right here. This is extremely beautiful and sick and different actually. This is something that you only ever really see in Japan is a whole bamboo forest. And when you're walking by it, like they, they talk about bamboo for, uh, gardens inside America, but it is nothing compared to these bamboo trees here. Like this is insane. It's cool to see the cultures, like the different gardens that they have, like how when you come to Japan, they have their own type of Japanese garden. And in the things you see, like America try to resemble it, but you don't actually fully see the real potential unless you come to Japan itself. And that's probably how it's like with any other culture. So, you know, any other culture, you have to actually go to get the real experience. For example, if you're looking at this, this is a true bamboo forest. And how the bamboo trees go that high up. I never even knew they went that high up. This is probably where you actually, look at them, they're making the green tea right there. This is the most traditional green tea I'll ever taste. Can I get a... Uh, uh, this. I love it. I call your number. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So you eat that? Oh, okay. So this is probably going to be the most traditional green tea drink I'll ever have. 
to be honest, I never really looked up how green tea is made. I actually don't know what's made out of. I just know it tastes really good and it's also very healthy for you. Um, so what they're telling me is that you eat these things first and then you take the drink. So then you take the sip of this. Wow, that is good. It has like a very mellow taste to it, but I think this is actually just how I like it. I mean, I don't like it too sweet. I don't like like too much of like the, the sweet stuff. That was really interesting to see that entire bamboo garden. I'm just, it makes me more curious now. What is, what else is there inside this side of Japan? inside the small town actually. Let's hop on the bike. We're gonna see what our next destination could be. That bamboo garden was honestly beautiful though. So the bike I ride dirty with. Um, huh. The biggest thing, like it's other than, other than walking around Japan, what you would do is you either grab a bike and ride all over it or you would just kind of walk it. Lately I've been just taking this bike everywhere, or at least in this town and it's just, such a, like at least I get to see a lot of things, you know, I get, to, I get to examine the entire small town, just see how it looks. And it's pretty cool, I have to say. Wow. I just left the bamboo garden not too long ago and just down, like riding down the street. You see like this as a scenery ride, like the scenic ride just from place to place is just what really grabs me in. I mean just the way Japan looks, I love it. I like how like the type of towns they are, they have here. The way they're designed here is just what I love the most. Personally, I prefer just like taking the small alleyways when I ride through here. It's just because I get to see like how much like how different it is like the locals rather than taking like the main street i like to take the small alleyways the small roads because they have more of like a creative appearance them. it's not just like a whole main road where cars go down it's just a lot different like houses and houses put together i'm just like riding like a local right now <laughs> just like joining in I managed to choose the right place to come to today. Like I literally chose the right place. So other than just the bamboo trees, I feel with the Japan culture, they're also known for these type of bridges that crosses like that type of pond and river. And that's where everybody's crossing over there. Unfortunately, it's extremely packed. Like there's a lot of people everywhere, but it's still pretty cool, which is why I'm just gonna go walk around, kind of talk about my experience. That is insane. So from a far distance, you can see the huge temple all the way down there. I can't wait to make my way down there. I wanted us to be at the top. It looks like you had to climb a lot of stairs to get to the top. You can tell this is a very known area just because there's a lot of people surrounding. And the funny thing was, this wasn't even the main destination. This was just a random place I decided to stop by when I was just riding my bike. Like I just seen all these people, I was like, okay, I gotta stop in. That's the thing I'm enjoying a lot about like coming to these small towns are just, you walk around, there will always be something to do or something to see. That is why I'm enjoying this adventure so far. And the thing is, I'm alone, just adventuring off alone. It's funny that the few first days I got here, I, I was determined to go to a shrine. We went to this whole park next to uh, Shibuya. And then the funny thing was, when you went to that park, it turns out the entire temple, or the, yeah, the temple was closed. So now we couldn't go in it. And this is like, today is like the first few days I've actually only been to the temples. And I have to say, I'm enjoying it a lot more than how a Southeast Asia temples are 100%, literally 100%. This is it. I guess everybody doing their blessings or something. You can tell. These are like the writings like that you write on to, I guess, for like your wish or something. Oh, I, guess, I think that's like a monk up there. Like he probably is like doing his thing up here in this dojo. <laughs> Just taking in the amazing feel of this entire place and just how how relaxing, peaceful it is. I mean, just this one area I'm sitting at, you're looking at the cherry blossoms. There's just like um, 
koi fish just swimming all over the pond and it's just so peaceful. It's amazing. I'm gonna like spend a lot of time just relaxing this place because it's just like that's what it, it's kind of all about just taking in the entire environment that's all around you. If you ever really want to experience Japan truly for what it is, I would highly recommend anyone to especially just leave Tokyo and like, I mean, stay for a bit. I mean, Tokyo is probably one of the main spots, but like come to these outside cities. It has so much more to it and a lot more to explore. I gotta go drop off this bike now. Unfortunately, my time is too late. I gotta go return it before I get overcharged. So I guess I gotta head back into um, Tokyo right now. I'm gonna end my vlog right here. But thanks for watching guys. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the capsule hotel. It's, it's been a really unique and different experience along with this place in general.